Welcome to the space. Welcome back to my channel. It's another Tuesday upload and today we are making lemon garlic shrimp with pasta courtesy of Proper Tasty. I will leave the link in the description bar down below. Now let's get cooking. So first we're going to get a pot with boiling water. You're going to add oil or butter and some salt to the pot as it boils on medium high heat. Then we're going to add in our linguine and then we're going to cover that and turn the fire down to medium low heat and cook for about 9 minutes on the fire. Then we're going to get a pot, turn the fire on medium high heat, add our oil and then our butter, about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of butter and we are going to let that melt and let both the oil and the butter infuse together. Then we are going to add in our garlic. I'm using about 9 cloves of garlic chopped, so finely chopped together and we are going to add the garlic to the pot and then saute nicely before adding in our red pepper. This is about, I would say, a tablespoon of red pepper. Again, the amount depends on the intensity of spice that you want. I don't mind my food being too spicy, so a tablespoon might be too much for you. You might want to do a teaspoon or a half a tablespoon or a half a teaspoon. It all depends on your um, taste buds and whether you like really, really spicy food or just a hint of spice. This was kind of spicy, um, but I didn't mind. Then we're going to add in our shrimp to the garlic and the red pepper. And the garlic and the red pepper makes a great base for our shrimp. So we're gonna stir that all together, saute that all together before adding in the rest of our ingredients. I'm gonna add in some fish seasoning. This is about a tablespoon of fish seasoning. This is a bone sucking fish seasoning. So in my last video, I used bone sucking sauce from the same brand and they have fish seasoning in there. I also put some lemon pepper sauce in there as well as some oregano and some parsley, all to add flavor to the fish. And then we're gonna mix that all together, infusing the garlic with the parsley, with the oregano, and if you use fresh herbs, that's even better. Now we're gonna add in our spinach, to be honest, the recipe called for about four cups of spinach. I used a whole bag. I didn't actually measure, I don't know if that equaled four cups. I just know how much I use. Don't worry if it's too bulky. The water and the steam will wilt the spinach and it will eventually look like this. Don't worry if it looks too bulky in the beginning. Just continue to stir and the spinach will wilt. We're gonna add in our linguine, more parsley, and more Parmesan cheese just to add that nice, cheesy and parsley flavor and then we are going to add a squeeze of lemon i use two lemons you can use three you can use one you can use four this all depends on how lemony you want your shrimp to be if you want a really nice citrus flavor i would say definitely add more than one lemon if you want a hint of lemon add one or two it just depends on your preference and then to top it all off this is an optional option you can top it off with some scallions just to add more flavor or as we call up here in America some green onions just to add some more flavor and color to your meal and now we are at the end you are going to plate add some more parmesan cheese and there you have it some lemon garlic shrimp pasta ready in a matter of 30 minutes i really really enjoyed this recipe tell me if you liked it i got it from proper tasty leave a comment down below and what other recipes do you want to see on my channel i'll be more than happy to make something that you like please let me know leave a comment share like and subscribe and as always i will see you in my next video thanks for watching guys